Stop Hashtag repeal the 19. Isn't that the slavery one? No. Oh, we'll that's get that the, one next. That's the 13. Okay. Well, you know Joe Biden. He said no amendment safe. 13th and 19th. We'll see you later. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <sighs> the Second Amendment is safe. No. You're right. <laughs> well, if certain people had their way, that would be the only one that would got, be gotten rid of. Which one is the amendment that made everybody think George Washington was actually a man? That was just revisionist history. Oh. Yeah. You guys should recreate all of the X-Men movies, and you should be Wolverine in them. And Nate can be Mystique. So he'll be nude? Yeah. I wanted to be, okay. the, I wanted to be the stripper from First Class. No. So he'll be nude? Yeah. Okay. But this time I have wings. Wait, wait, wait. What if, what if you're the Mystique pretending to be the stripper? Which Mystique are we talking about? Am I... Jennifer I mean, they're Lawrence. both hot. Am I Jennifer Lawrence or am I whatever the... Rajin, or what's her name? You're Jennifer what Lawrence. What the heck? What was that kind of slur you're throwing around here? What's her name? I thought her last name was Rajin or something. No. Her last name was Regina. Oh, okay. The capital of Saskatchewan? Yeah. I don't know. Ah, hello. You've been busy weeding death root, I take it. I thank you. As your brother in arms. So what can I do for you? Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more though. You see him now. Ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling. Like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is solid, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Is he holding a baby? No, so that is part of his armor. Oh. It's really odd. Weird. Yeah, it's kind of a weird armor set. It's very yeah. odd that you have to hold a piece of your armor. Well, I don't think... I think that's just... Because look, he has this gold thing on his stomach. Uh-huh. So I can't I'm not tell. sure what that even is. I can't Me tell either. either. Should I get any of these? Uh, Probably not yet. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, we can go to the... Actually, I wanted to talk to that guy out on the balcony. What's this? Praise the Elden Ring, thanks. I'd rather praise the sun. Got him. Nice. That's this, so weird. It is. This is supposedly, it has something to do with those outer gods. Huh. Oh, hey. Nice. Now we can go up to heaven in the rapture. <laughs> oh, cool. The thing that's like technically just something people guessed about. No. From the Bible. No. You're right, sorry. It's in 1 Thessalonians. Sorry about that, sorry. Sorry. What is this, rest, rallying cry? I'm switching rallying cry. Nate is, like, really trying to discover if we're going to miss content here. I'm not finding anything, so I think we're fine. Okay. Although it doesn't seem like people fully know. So Look it seems this. like everybody who played this game decided to not talk about it on the nice. internet. Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like to me. He looks ridiculous. Is the two fingers happy with me? Yeah. Why are they so, like, furry? Well, it's to uh, have more pleasure. Got it, okay. So, that's a giant hand? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. It's two fingers. What the Jill. fuck? Have you not been paying attention to the lore? I just... <laughs> Well, I'm just wondering. I just think the finger stuff in this game is, like, a little bit odd. Well, no. It makes me feel violated. George okay. Rancid Racist Martin really likes fingers. George Ronaldo is absolutely rambunctious Martin. <laughs> really didn't care for your comment there, Jill. Yeah. That makes sense. Stop dissing George Ryan Reynolds Martin. Always good to see you safe. So, I'm still what crippled. do you need? I'm currently cosplaying Professor X. <laughs> 
About your dick. He was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person. And if they were like you, all the better. Does he mean if they could walk? No, because he can't. Got it. <laughs> I thought he was saying, like, it'd be a little easier if they could walk to me. <laughs> so I could talk to them. Also, yeah, I looked like, away. I'm not that stupid that I just run into walls. I looked at you while playing, just so okay. everyone knows. <laughs> okay. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? I'd like to learn how to make that necklace so I can sell it on Enchanted Glamour. A and lot what? of people would buy it. And what in what? May the golden order shine what? through you. Enchanted what? Enchanted Glamour. Never heard of it. What's that? Explain it to me. Do you have a website or a Tell me what Facebook it is. Page? What, uh, yes. As if I don't know what it is, tell me what it is. Stop, I, I'm getting nervous. Why? You can explain it to people. It. Church my of the cock. Etsy shop where I sell jewelry. Yeah, I was just making a joke that that guy had an ugly necklace. Don't you want people to actually, you know, Etsy check it out? Etsy shop, Jill? What is an Etsy shop? It's a shop that you go to to buy things. Well, that sounds awesome. What can I you made. buy there? And would it help support Degenerate J and Degenerate Plays, the channels? Yes. What can you buy there? Jewelry that is pretty darn good, if mm. I do say so myself. I come out with nice collections, actually. Oh. Very nice collections. And what was this website called again? <laughs> what is wrong with the two? What is you? the internet? <laughs> and how do I use it? I like that hat. Well, that hat actually. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Did you know that this is actually an exact replica of what Mr. A.H. drew that then his Jewish art professor got mad at him about? Oh, I can see why. So, where should I go? Go Did to the Church know? of the Cock. Did you know that the RR in George R. R. Martin actually stands for Radolf Rittler? Who is that? <laughs> Does this I'm... guy live in Argentina? Yeah. <laughs> I like, wait, no, that sounds like a Scooby Doo villain. Radolf Rittler? <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> Romero, it's Radolf Rittler. Wait, what if, <laughs> what if there was a Scooby Doo movie? It's Scooby Doo meets. A-H. <laughs> it's like, and Scooby can't even say his name. That's Bro, really it's funny. Radolf Rittler. I'd watch that. <laughs> I, I wish they'd come too. out with more Scooby-Doo movies like that. I wish they'd come out with Scooby-Doo movies that actually are historical. Like, Scooby-Doo meets goes, the trail of goes tears. to the gulag. That one's good, too. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good, too. Scooby Doo Rosef Rollin. <laughs> I don't know where this, like, boss was. Should I go into that one? What's that top one up there? Uh, that's the gate. So here's the thing. What, Jill? I said Scooby-Doo picks cotton. Jill. What? Is Really Come on. Offensive. I thought it was funny. That's not okay. That's offensive. That's not okay. Why do you think that's okay? It's because he wanted to put his footsteps in the hardships that others had to experience. Okay. Well, I can, I All can right, I'll it. accept that. I can buy it. That's pretty woke, actually. That's a woke movie. Yeah. I'd watch like it. it. I'd fund it. I would buy it. I'd be in it. I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> which character would you be? Uh, I think we all know which character you would be. Um, <laughs> David Juke. He's like a basketball player who like is constantly juking people out. Why oh, don't you mean Raven Rook? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm. I'd, I think it'd be funny if in that movie they had Lois Lane show up too. They do. What are you talking about? Yeah, what's the joke here? Okay, jeez. Ah, uh, That's racist. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I, used to, I used to think the word was Zimbabwe, they said. It is. Did you see those jukes? That's me channeling my inner... Hey, it's David Juke. David Juke. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the thing. We just... This is where the boss room was. That's right. why I came back So, here. there might be an uh, exit or something. Yeah, like rest the of the crystals. great side. Wait, so what grace site is this? Oh, so this is the debate parlor. Oh. Got it. Well, okay. is there like a... Yeah, what's in there? Okay. All right, I finally got my bearings. By the way, this looks like Bergenworth hey. Academy from Bloodborne. I don't know. 
I don't know that place. You should play it. Wow, what is that? I want to play it, but I'm Bergenworth, currently playing Grand Theft Auto 3. Bergenworth Academy is similar. Uh, a lot of people say it's similar to Enchanted Glamour. What's Enchanted wow, how Glamour? How do you get there? Uh, Enchanted Grammar is actually <laughs> a uh, that's that's a, a site I run where I actually help people figure out their grammar better. That's pretty awesome. So that dude. like basically, so I help. I will serve anyone. So right. it's like if if that's you want woke. if you want well no uh, I mean that in a bad way. Oh. Uh, what I mean is like if you want me to help you discover women's history so you can be a more effective misogynist, I'll serve you. <laughs> if you want me to help you like be racist but say it grammatically correct, I'll help. So like, I serve anyone. So can I help with the history so you can like learn more about these cultures? Well, I don't want to know about the cultures unless but, uh, it's but, negatives. But the thing is, like, you want to know about the cultures so you can be more racist. Got it. Okay, that sounds because you dangerously want, close to the public school system. Because you you want to like learn things about them, right? Right. So that way you. Well, can I don't learn. want to, but I have to. Right. I think we could do a pretty good team up. Do you want to follow? Did, do you want to follow in their footsteps, such as Scooby Doo did, and understand their hardships, so that way you can better make insults towards them? Crazy Elden Ring. Yes. Yes, exactly. That is actually what I'm going for. Hey, a cracked pot. Hey, that's my nickname in high school. And a living jar shard. That's I actually want to know about these living jars. It's also my nickname in high school. <laughs> the living jar shard? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think they called you a jar shard. I think they called you something else that rhymed with jar shard. Oh. <laughs> Let me be honest. <laughs> uh, living you jar. You are hard? Because I'm always hard. George Jarshard Martin. That's all I'm saying. Where's the living jar shard? Do you see it? That's uh, probably not in tools. What can you use a shard of a jar for in a, as a tool? You can put it in your ass. Well, that's true. Uh, I thought it could have been like a talisman. I didn't see it there. Or if it's a... Uh... Yeah? Uh, here. Here. George That's a good... Rear Rump Martin wouldn't approve of this conversation. Rear, Rear Rump, Rump Martin? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, yeah, there's your shards right there, your jar. Ritual no. pot, cracked pot. I would yeah. think it would be in the jar shards with the, the other pots. It's not. I feel like there should be a section in this game where it just says new. <laughs> like a tab that says new. No, that would make it too easy. So then, any any of the new items you picked up, you'd be able to see them. I think next to the new section should be a, a section for nudes. Okay. So you can see all the bosses but nude. I'm fine with this. Literally, anytime there's anything that's slightly too easy to, to do oh. in this game, the developers are like, no. Well, and, and patch it out. It does kind of feel like that. Although they did just fix a boss and make it easier. Wow. A fragment of a living jar hardened after Ooh. its death, much like me. Such fragments command a high price due to the magical power locked within. This leaves the living jars unfortunate targets for poachers. Huh. Well, I wish I knew what the living jars were, but... Yeah, how did they become alive in the first place? And why are people poaching them? Yeah, and what's the deal with communism? Are they an endangered species? And can I put them in danger? Does that make us a poacher if we're killing them? Can I put the shards in my butt? Yeah. Yes, yes, and I hope so. Okay. <laughs> you think I'm the bad guy here for killing all these crabs? Yes. I think so, yeah. Whoa! But hey, maybe you can give it to that, uh, that buffet we like to eat at so that way they'll finally get better crab during the afternoons. Wow. That's a good point. Yeah, they don't even bring their crab out until nighttime because they're like, it is too expensive. What buffet Yeah, so is they this? give, like, wanna, shitty like, fake crab during the afternoon. I don't want to, like, uh, dox this buffet and make them sound bad, so I'm not going to say, but I'll tell you after. Okay. But yeah, like, this this buffet we really like going to, but then... They're great at night. During, Fantastic, actually. During the afternoon, though, they purposely make their food super cheap, like, and not good. Yeah, because oh. you pay less to get in during the afternoon. Well, that, that that seems like a normal capitalism practice. Yeah, it's just it's a shame. Lame. You know, I think I think we should personally switch to communism. It, it made us sad. The are better. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. It makes it, it made us sad because we were excited to go there one afternoon, and then we were like, oh, we should have just waited until like six p.m. Yeah, actually, it was a big waste of time and money. Well, you guys should know afternoon buffets are not where it's at. I'm sorry. Because that's where all, like, the unemployed people are at. 
because then they're like unemployed and like ultra huge. <laughs> I thought, so I thought they, they were constantly uh, shopping at half price books during the afternoon when they should be at work. No, that yeah, that the, that's their other destination. Got it. Okay. But they don't buy anything because they don't have any money that they because they spent it all on the buffet food. So yeah, they just they, walk around and like shove their gigantic butt in the wow, video game section. Wow. Jill, that's mean. Why the video game <laughs> Jill, section? Jill, I have a gigantic butt. Are you? What are you saying about me? Jill, I'm a gamer. Are well, you I, racist? I'm just saying that like we're never able to get into the video game section because somebody is like two feet wide in there. Wow. Wow. Two Jill, feet tall. You say? Yeah. Jill, George Rancid Racist would not stand for this. Jill, George would attack you on sight, and I'd help him. <laughs> George regularly Whoa. would never ever say He that is to me. not a regular person, Jill. <laughs> Wait, he like is an a extraordinary person. Like like a regular, like the British? Yeah. Oh, cool. He helped uh, conscript young men against their will into the Revolutionary War to fight for the British. Awesome. Cool. Remember that? Yeah, literally America did that, too. No! <laughs> George Washington was, like, storming people's houses and grabbing any young child and, like, throwing them in the army. All right, That's have, true. Have you ever thought about, like, not insulting George Washington? Hey, yeah, I, I keep seeing those things on the um, loading ah! screen. <laughs> ah! What is this guy? I don't know, but he's from the loading screen. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> RoboCop? Get out of here. Let this be RoboCop. I don't know. It's like Inspector Gadget. I've been looking forward to seeing those things. I am not. Ah! They're Chris Scary. I am scary. not looking They're forward Kascari? to They're Chris Scary? They're Chris What is that like? Oh. A, is that like Richard Scary's like? It's Chris Scary. Wait, Chris Scary is a, a ghost type Pokemon. Why is it like a weird machine? <laughs> what do you mean? Why is it a weird machine? Are you talking about capitalism? I don't know. Why I don't know. It? It's just like rolling on wheels. Like, do you think it's like the same kind of thing as like the living pots, where like why? an inanimate object came to life? Why can't it? Why can't it roll on wheels? Are you know. judging it? But do you yes. think Ronnie the witch ever gets nude and smokes some living pot with the protagonist? I, I think so. That would be epic. Do you think George Ronnie <laughs> Rection ever? <laughs> <laughs> you can just stop at. Do you think George Ronnie Rection? <laughs> I forgot to add in Martin at the end. George Ronnie Rection sounds like a, like a like an adult movie star. <laughs> That's what his name is. It's like Ron Jeremy's brother, Ron Erection. <laughs> this one hopefully is not going to go to prison. Is Ron Jeremy in prison? I don't think he's in prison, but I think he's going to court. Is he, like, being just destroyed in prison? Because uh, he would probably like it. He probably would be the one person in the world that actually would enjoy that. I don't know, because he's, like, 70 or something, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. Cut to him getting his butthole like. Okay, Jill. All right, enough. Whoa. Enjoyed by people. No, who Jill. Are very Jill, you're gonna get us demonetized. Very respectful pianist. George respectful Martin. Yes. <laughs> That's like Ron Erection. <laughs> <laughs> That should be, wait. That should be a, a Dark Souls name. Uh, it's not clever enough. For it's that. Ronnie I, last name Rection. I thought it was funny, Ronnie Rection. That's pretty good, but I, I feel like you could come up with a better something better than Ronnie. I feel like Nate's porn star name would be Ronnie Rection, and I'm going to be Nippleian. That's not <laughs> clever. And I feel like mine would be like degenerate gay sex. I don't know. What? <laughs> Like you literally just changed one letter. <laughs> Great. Great job. I thought it was funny. It's like Jillian, Napoleon. Yeah. I, I feel see. like mine would be boobs. <laughs> Wait, what is this? That's a Ron Ronnie Rection ah! uh, discharge. <laughs> oh no! Why is it crab shaped, Ronnie? Well, he's got he's got crab. Wait, that wait, makes wait. sense. Carolos Glint. Hey, Stone we got that crown. crown. Wait, I'm oh, gonna get murdered here. By the easiest commoners in the game? Thanks, hey, but no thanks. Hey, put it on. Wait, let's see what it is. One of the Glintstone crowns bestowed upon Raya Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy. Hmm. Increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. That sucks. The Carlos Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's lineages of study, begat by the sorcerer Azure, which means blue. 
Thank you. Scholars who follow in his footsteps pursue the mysteries of comets. Can we wear that? Oh my gosh, you look awesome ridiculous. Helmet. You look like the Burger King guy. I love it. <laughs> it is the Burger King guy. <laughs> well, I lost a little bit of stamina, though. Well, but now we look like the Burger King guy. Yeah, okay, so it's worth, worth it. it. <laughs> so therefore, it's good. Can we still? Oh, we can still fast roll. Nice. Think, by the way, I think uh, in the next Dark Souls game you guys play, your character should be named Dixie Normus. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I like yeah, Dixie a, Normus. That's a clever one. I, I also one. like Tess Tickles. <laughs> I like that one too. That one's that's good, but you have to play as a girl, and Nate mm. doesn't like playing as women. You could be a boy named Tess. No, you can't. No, that's a girl's name, Jill. Oh, okay. Why are you, well, like, gendering being, everything? Are you sexist, not woke? Jill. No, Jill, haven't women lost enough? You're gonna give their names away now, too? We're not being not woke. We're being feminist. That makes sense. But you're giving away the few things that women have left. That's true, because they keep getting taken away by men. Do you like how nobody even gets mad at South Park anymore because they just know that they're, like, playing into the joke then? Yeah. And if people get mad at South Park, South Park will probably make a joke about it. That's probably true. Right, it just draws more attention to it. I can't figure out where to go, so I'm going to try here. That's the wrong move. Not what? Now, because you went down here, you have to face the punishment of fighting those church gargoyles from Dark Souls. Okay, this place is really poorly laid out. <clears throat> I think it's kind of cool, though. Then again, so was Anne Orlando, so... It kind of reminds me of the castle from uh, Prince Caspian. Oh. That's true. It reminds me of reminding you of that, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Why is this I guy shooting out. missiles at, like, mock <laughs> speed? <laughs> Which mock is he shooting them at? So, after Russia takes over the world, do you think George R.R. R. Martin's going to change his name to George Rasputin Romanov Martin? I think he'll hey, that's kind of clever. I think he'll change his name to George Russian... Rebellious Martin. No, that makes sense. It's not going to be Romanov because they don't like the czars. That's true. But they would elected a czar, so. Wait, is Putin a czar? No. Oh, well, then he, he, may thinks, as well he be. thinks he is. Oh, well, That's then. That's my joke. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, like, who did they elect? That I was confused as to like, right. why he was a czar. Right. No, I'm saying, like, the Vladimir Lenin, like, wanted to tear down the czars, but then he himself just became a czar. But he's like, we need to get rid of those czars because they're evil, but I'm going to take over. Hey, that guy's wearing the same hat as you. No, he's, he's wearing two of them. Oh! It's a conjoined twin. Oh, great! Now he's they're like a two double of burger. Them. He's a what? Double burger from oh. Burger King. Oh, I thought That's you said that he dude. was a... I thought you said he's an essential worker. <laughs> I was like, oh, geez. <laughs> the pandemic started in... <laughs> well, if he's a fast food worker, then he is an essential worker for my tummy. Didn't they well, say they were essential workers? Yeah, they did. Huh? Well, they should be, because they need to feed me. I think essential workers means, like, me and no one else. I think essential worker means people who work for history-related occupations. Hey, that's me. And no one else. That's me. And YouTubers. Yeah. And um, adult film actresses that I deem hot. Like strippers. And not the ones I deem not hot. So what if there's, like, a ugly one? Nah. Not, not, essential. not essential? Not essential. Okay. Essentially worthless. That's what well. I'm they could be. What if they are really like intentionally ugly? But like that's the point. It's for people who have like an ugly kink. But I don't have it. So worthless. I have an ugly kink though. Right, but Where I don't. Where are you going right now? By the way, this kind of seems very Whoa. odd. Oh jeez, I'm. I know where I'm going, Jill. These are like those archers from Anne Orlando. This place looks like Anne Orlando. Yeah, it's like a nighttime version of Anne Orlando. Is this also supposed to be like a city for giants? I don't that know. That is a really offensive term, Jill. How is, is that it? an offensive term? Tall people don't like being called giants. They just I like can being speak called for people. all tall people. We like to be called the N-word. Oh. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. We don't want to say it, though. I'm just saying, like, if, if, if we're friends with a black guy and he wants to call us it out of affection, that's what we prefer. Oh, That's okay. your preferred pronoun. And tall people are only friends with black people. I've decided. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're the spokesman for all tall people. So here. why are you friends with Nate? I'm not. That makes sense. It's literally like a shit post. He just... It's like a like a living shit post. He just has me here because he needs someone else on the channel with him. Right. Who's a man. Well, it's a good thing you're friends with T because he fits the... Uh... He's black? Yeah. Yeah, that's I, true. Yeah. That's true. 
And nobody can prove me otherwise. Well, no one can I, prove you otherwise. What does that even mean? Imbued sword key. Jump. For Narnia! <sighs> okay. Second favorite Narnia book, go. Second favorite? Yeah. Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Because I know your favorite's Magician's Nephew. Okay, that's true. Second favorite Narnia book, go. I'm going to guess it's The Horse and His Boy. No, Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. <laughs> Okay. Horses Boys is my least favorite. I know, one. that was my joke. <laughs> okay. I never okay. read them all. <laughs> Did oh, you read any yeah. of them? No, actually. I saw the movies. Well, aren't the movies good? Yeah, the movies are pretty good. I've always wanted to read the books, though. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'd like to look for them at half price books. So the sometime. books are fantastic. I kind of found Voyage of the Dawn Treader to be really boring, though. Oh, I love that book. From the movie. The movie. Well, the movie, the movie was not a correct representation of the book. Right, I'm just talking Al- about the book. Although... Or the movie, sorry. Although I did also like the movie. Okay. I know that's like blasphemous to... Why do other people not Narnia. like the movie? No, they hate the movie. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't the know The Narnia that. community despises that movie. There's a community? There I is thought a, all of the movies community. were they really Narnia good sexual? when I watched They are. They're <laughs> Narnians. Narnians? <laughs> what, chill? I thought all of the movies were really good when I watched them. Yeah, I love them all. And, and the thing is with Voyage of the Dawn Shredder is... The, the movie is nothing like the book, and I'm not going to ever argue that it's a better version of it. Like, the book's, like, 400 times better. Mm-hmm. But I also like the movie. Mm-hmm. And I don't... And to me, yeah, it's different, but I, I still thought it was a good movie. So yeah, to be I mean, fair... there's nothing wrong with that. To be fair, I don't love that book either, but I oh. like it. I like it. I love the book, so... Um, but I really like Prince Caspian, and I really like... Uh, the movie know, or the book? The book. Okay. I mean, like, to be honest, I just like the books better than the movies. So, that's just me. Yeah, yeah, although I did actually like the movie Prince Caspian more than the book. Mm. Why? Because of the performance? No, because uh, I like the ordering of events more in the movie. So, in the movie, remember... Actually, I'll start with the book. In the book, um, you have... Oh, jeez! What the heck is happening? What is like, going on? Uh... <laughs> Inspired by true events in Michael J. Fox's life. <laughs> Get the item back there. Stop being mean to Michael J. Fox. <laughs> oh, it's not your fault. Stop. I mean, his fault. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not his fault he shakes. But I shake too. That's the joke. I literally have Do you tremors. have Parkinson's? No, but I have tremors in my hands all the time. You, like, have the movie Tremors constantly in your hands? Yes. <laughs> okay. Tremors 12. <laughs> awesome. More Tremors, Mo Problems. <laughs> Coming out soon, Tremors 13. Mo Tremors, Mo Bamba. Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the bad timeline. <laughs> or is it the best one? This is the greatest timeline. 